What's up people, this is Vishal and in this video we'll try to understand what is Navigator.SendBeacon by taking an example of um, a real world problem about front-end logging. So before we get into any code, let's understand why we need front-end logs. So front-end logs will be very helpful for us to understand how the user is navigating around the website and um, you can also use the front-end logs to log any, any front-end side of errors, uh, let's say uh, JavaScript errors and um, uh, these logs will later help us uh, debug our JavaScript logic and see what's going wrong. It can be used for logging a lot of other things as well. So it totally depends on the individual who is implementing it. Um, so without wasting much time, let's get into the code. So uh, for the purpose of this video, I created a very simple sales application. And um, uh, in this sales application, I've created a route uh, called frontend log. Uh, which is going to execute write function inside the login controller. So inside the login controller, we are just taking a request and uh, taking a set of events from uh, in the request body from the request body, and looping over those events, checking on the event type. If it is error, we are making an error log. Which is a, if it is an info, we are making an info log. And default is going to be an info log. So it's a very simple. Uh, application which is just providing me an endpoint of a slash fronted log where I'll publish my events and we can loop over those and uh, log them appropriately. The other route in our application is the slash route which is going to return a home page and uh, on our home page we just have a button which is uh, uh, intentionally generating some errors. This home page is also importing our uh, home.js file and in our home.js file we have um, a set of uh, event listeners which is uh, one is the window.click event. So if I click anywhere on the window, this my uh, event listener is going to execute this callback. And uh, on any error on the window, my listen event listener is uh, going to execute this callback. Okay, so on on the window click event, I just I'm just uh, taking x and y coordinates of my click and uh, sending them as an info log to my log event uh, function and. Uh, in my error log, I'm just taking event error dot message, uh, event dot message, and uh, sending it down to the uh, log event. And inside my log event function, I'm just pushing those events into a queue. If the queue length is reaching ten, I am resetting the queue and uh, sending the ex sending the events to the slash frontend log endpoint so that we can log it at the back end. Now to see our frontend log in action, uh, let's uh, run our sales app. So I head on to my terminal, run sales lift. Yeah. So my server is now running. Let's head on to our website. Uh, go to localhost one double three seven. Now to have a front end logging uh, working, we need to generate ten events because we have set a threshold of ten. So after every ten events, we will be firing a request to slash front end log. So let's create ten events now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as soon as I reach 10, we made a request to slash frontend log using our fetch and uh, on our uh, server side of, side of things, we are just logging those events onto the console. Okay. Now there is a problem here. So let's say um, I generate a few events um, and my website is now facing some errors and uh, the user got frustrated and he closed the, closed the window. So um, the problem happened here is I got some critical errors on the website, but uh, those logs never made it to my server. So we need to make sure even if the browser window is closed, uh, our logs, the critical logs always make it to the server. So we need to add a listener again. So let's head on to a code and uh, write one second and write window dot add event listener unload and in this event we just are going to call log event and uh, the type of the event will be info and the message is going to be Um, window closed okay now we need to make sure that uh, this this event is uh, always firing and we need to make sure no matter how many events are there in the queue 
these all the events uh, when the window is closed has to reach the server so we will add a, a new argument which will be force and by default this is going to be false and on the unload event this force is going to be true okay so we are making sure that uh, when the window is closed uh, we are forcing all the in information to reach the server okay so let's refresh our uh, re revisit our website seven add on to the browser console and uh, let's generate some 10 events again and those events have reached properly which is fine now i generated now we got some errors on the website i got frustrated and i closed the window but uh, the events still didn't reach the uh, server so what could be going wrong so our code is completely okay over here the problem is with fetch fetch doesn't make sure that the when the window is closed uh, it will deliver or make that request to the browser so uh, this is when uh, uh, send beacon comes into the picture so let's say uh, I remove this and I write window dot navigator dot send beacon and it expects a URL which is going to be slash front end log and the payload is going to be this okay there is a URL error okay so instead of using our fetch now we are going to use uh, send beacon so good thing about uh, beacon is it makes sure that the, uh, the events are reaching the server without having any problems so uh, let's uh, try it out i visit my website again let's open our console network so let's generate some error error events now one two three i have not breached the threshold i am but i'm going to close the window this time my events have reached the reached the server okay so this is what uh, send beacon is good at it is going to make sure that each of the requests that you're adding into the beacon is uh, fulfilled by send beacon no matter whether you are on the window or not okay so this is an advantage of uh, using send beacon um, for printed log i hope this video explained the benefits of uh, using beacon and if you don't have front end logging on your website yet do it so just do it that's all for this video uh, please uh, like this video and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more thank you